got cut off on the last one. I think according to my phone, it didn't have enough space. But anyway, um, I said I was going to give you some insights into ballpoint pen stuff, which which I did, but but no one heard. <laughs> Let me try this again. So, um, I started off by saying that a lot of people comment, will comment that um, my looks, my, my art creations look very kind of delicate. I want to say that's because I work very softly, as you can probably tell. But it's not really a deliberate, it's never been like a deliberate look. Like, oh, I really want to go for this delicate look. I want a certain look, yes, but it's because I'm working with mediums that are a bit more unforgiving, I'm going to say. Oil works. You can paint over. If you make a mistake, you can paint over it or scrape it away. Or That to me is really weird. Um, I didn't try oils until I was in high school and then I was like, this feels very foreign because I started on watercolors I don't know, maybe sometime in junior high? Earlier than that? Um, my oldest brother took a watercolor class and it, it, he, he was like, uh, you can have my watercolors. He's the mathematician. Um, like, he, uh, oh, I'm trying to get this. It's really hard to see which. Okay, it's still on the frame. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he got my, the German, um, mathematician side, which is awesome. But, um, but he was like, uh, these watercolors elude me. So he gave them to me, so that was, and they were nice. So that was kind of the first medium besides charcoal. Charcoal was like, I loved charcoal. It was fun. And it was so great to blend. So, well, maybe. I guess there's a lot of things about working softly that kind of appeal to my nature, but um, I never aim for delicate. I just work really lightly because if I step out of line, it's very easy to mend. As for working particularly with ballpoint pen. This one's oh, really crazy. Like really, like it barely marks sometimes, but um, it's kind of nice because it's like a sketch. In any case, um, 
you need what I consider really nice pens, which does not mean expensive pens. It means they can be dollar store pens as long as they're from Japan. Um, there's just, there's just a sense of quality in paper and pen in Japan. There's probably other countries too, but I don't know them, so please feel free to share. Oh my gosh, I would, I'd love to learn more. Um, but it's... I have found that um, ballpoint pens that are, say, 0.7, like a, a more fine thickness, that blend well if you're using a smudge stick. And do not clump. That is the biggest issue. They don't clump. That's why I have like all this um, weirdness on the side. Um, I don't need to really worry about it with the pens that I'm using so much, but I'm used to doing that. I usually have a Kleenex with tissue with me too to wipe the tip because when you're going over and over in like the exact same direction with many pens, they, the ink will clump on the, um, the tip of the pen and then all of a sudden you're doing this lovely work and, oh my gosh, yeah. But I'd really like to do work after this because this has been so fine that, um, oh, a work that is all about the clumps, like where I want the clumps. I play with that and it's part of it. I think that would be fun. After working so, so tightly. But, um, this and watercolors and things that you do have, that I prefer to work lightly on and kind of have to go over, um, I, I, to, to get depth, I should say, um, 